Hi, my name is Ashlyn and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're one of those OG subscribers that's literally been here since the beginning. Some people call me Ash. Hopefully we'll be close enough for you to call me that too soon enough. Anyways, long time no see and let's get into the video. So in today's video, we'll be chit chatting, basically discussing where I dropped off the face of the earth to and what are my plans and intentions for this channel. I know for months I've been posting on Instagram, I've been posting on Snap, sometimes on Twitter, which y'all gotta follow me, so I'm gonna put all of that on the screen. But I know I've been posting about me finally returning to YouTube and I've been filming content all the way up until this point. I have a couple videos edited up and I'm gonna post them consistently for you. So it's gonna be between Thursdays and Sundays or only Sundays whichever you prefer but I think right now I'll start off with once a week because I want to be very consistent for you guys anyways like I said let's get started with my life update basically and where I've been so go get your popcorn go get your snacks if you want some avocados because you're on keto get that well I need to be on keto which anyways get your snacks meet me back here in five and we'll get to the video I feel like the proper way to start this video is literally freeze frame. I bet you're wondering how I got here. You know, like all the movies used to start. But anyways, um, rewind to 2017. This was the year that I was graduating high school. I went to Baton Rouge High and around May 2017, a whole bunch of things were stressful. It was finals, prom was coming around the corner. Graduation was coming up, which is stressful in itself somehow. You think that'd be the best time of the year, but high school finds a way to make itself stressful no matter what. Baton Rouge High was really overwhelming in itself because it was a college prep school. But then the unexpected happened, right? Our house caught on fire. It was caused by some pool chemicals that were left out in the heat. So, you know, you combine Louisiana heat with some faulty electrical work and you have a fire. So if everything wasn't already put on pause because of high school and the work that I had to do for that time, that definitely put everything on pause. The fire didn't destroy the entire house. It just destroyed certain portions. I'll put that like if I can include images somewhere in the video, I'll put that in here. But the smoke and the soot completely destroyed everything. So prom was that weekend and graduation was in two weeks and everything was destroyed by the soot. So prom day came, uh, I really didn't even want to go at that point because we were dealing with what we were dealing with. But I decided to go because I definitely wanted to have that memory and I never wanted to be able to say that I had never attended my high school prom. Luckily enough, Misha, who is a good friend of mine, she was my manager for the longest period of time ever, she's great. She had the dress, she handmade me this dress um, for one of her collections prior to all of this, maybe a couple years back. So she had the dress, I was able to get it, I wore her dress to my prom. My graduation cap and my gown on the other hand, that's a whole nother story, it was completely ruined. Our graduation cap and gown for Baton Rouge High was white and mine was gray, completely stained with the smoke and the soot. I got it professionally clean, nothing came out. It was still like this dingy, off-white, gray, and then it had patches, I couldn't wear it. Um, so I had to end up throwing it away. This was probably the best part about a senior year for me. And I know you're probably like the best part, like sounds like you have too much going on right now. No, it was really the best part because my senior class got together. They showed me mad love, man. They showed me a lot of love. My class helped me replace lots of things I was missing, especially like immediate necessities. One person in particular, Taylor, that's my heart. She's my sweetheart. Taylor and her family got together and they actually reached out to people and, and collectively helped me get another cap and gown for graduation. So of course the waterworks came. I couldn't contain myself because I, I, I didn't know, you know, I couldn't imagine that somebody would do that for me. And her and her family did that. I, I didn't even know how to thank them. Graduation day came, I walked across the stage, I got my diploma, I finally graduated high school. Everything was perfect in my head, or as perfect as it could be, and we had gotten settled into the hotel room. 
maybe two weeks after graduation, I was still going to the military. I still had to ship out. So I wasn't able to move everything out of the house into the hotel room with my mom, but I got most of the things I could and the rest of the things we had to leave here. She had great people over the course of my time being gone with the military help her take all of our stuff, get it cleaned up or get it thrown away if we couldn't salvage it. But when I shipped out, I went to BCT at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I don't want to get too far into that because I'm going to do separate videos on that if that's the content y'all want to see. But I went to Fort Sill. I was there for uh, 10, 9 to 10, maybe 11 weeks. Then once I graduated from Fort Sill, I went to San Antonio, Texas. I went to Fort Sam Houston. San Antonio is so beautiful, y'all. I wish I had all my equipment. I would have documented that to the fullest. On the weekends, we got to go out on the river walk. That was so gorgeous. Like, if we could incorporate something like that in every city, I promise you, like, we would have no issues. It was gorgeous. Anyways, I was there for 16 weeks to train as a combat medic or 68 whiskey for my military people that's watching this. Um, there, I met Kiara. Mullinax. Oh my god, that she she's my heart also. She's literally my other half. I didn't even know you could know somebody for such a short period of time and be so close to somebody. She is my best friend. She will, I don't know how else to explain her to you. Hopefully next time she comes down to see me, I can get some footage and you get to meet her because she's literally amazing. She's also a tourist, just like my boyfriend, so She's like my soulmate. So I left in May 2017 and I returned in December 2017, the 25th to be exact. And I'm not gonna lie to you, coming back home was a big shift for me. You go from the structure of military life, having somebody tell you what uniform, where to be, time and place, how to act, and what you do, to the laxness of civilian life not that that's a bad thing but when you have so much structure um if i'm being honest i came home and i felt like i had less purpose because i didn't have that intention set out every time i got up somehow it put me into a rut because i felt less productive than i usually was and productivity is a big thing to me hopefully i can find little ways to help you stay productive but anyways so i don't go off on a tangent um, it kind of put me in a rut. So that went on for months until I found a routine that helped me ground myself, kind of decompress, and get back in tune with myself. So eventually, this routine comprised of finding myself a place to work and going back to doing the things I loved, which I thought was going to be YouTube. And I really wanted YouTube to be the, the main focus. I love content creation and I have a passion for it that I wasn't able to satisfy while I was away. Of course, I didn't have any equipment with me, and I wanted to do it the right way because I'm I'm a perfectionist, and that'll be the death of me. But anyways, I wanted to do YouTube, and I wanted to also make money doing it. I also wanted to return to school. So I got a part-time at a local restaurant that I thought would still allow me to have time to do what I needed to on the side. There at this restaurant, I started off as a server. From server, I went to bartender. That was great didn't really take up more time I would make more money um, in tips at the bar everything was perfect uh, along with bartending um, like I said the shift work was cool I started school online school that was okay so I would have seminars for about an hour I would have to sit out that went well too now eventually I got promoted to team leader this is when or shift leader I'm sorry shift manager whatever you want to refer to it as this is when Alexis came to Boiling Root as the general manager. This is when I first met her, and I'm going to be honest with you, when I bring her here for y'all to meet her too, which I'm talking to you like you already know her because I know her, but you'll get to know her soon enough. Y'all will love her, okay? Alexis had that attitude, ma'am. Like, like, she came to play no games with anybody, okay? But anyways, eventually me and her clicked really well. We saw that we both love stationery. Oh my God. She and I love a good notebook, journal, a good writing pen. So we fell in love through our love for stationery organization and makeup and nice clothes, like dressing well, okay? Alexis brought Brandy onto the team. She was brought on as her assistant general manager. 
Um, Brandy was cool from the start. I can't even front. Working with her behind the bar was always great. She was so relatable. She was so supportive. Um, she didn't pull that I'm bigger than you. I have more rank than you type of card. She was just always there. So me and her meshed really well, really fast. She actually just got married. So congratulations to my girl. Hopefully you get to meet her too. She's a personality in herself. She She's kind of wonky, but I love her for that. Um, and then eventually, as things progressed, she also has a family. So she had to take time out for that. And any and everybody could understand that. So me and her inverted. She became a shift leader. And she also had a second job. She became shift leader. And I became assistant general manager with Alexis. That's when me and Alexis grew closer together. Um, and then eventually, Alexis had bigger and better things, higher hopes and dreams to move on to, okay? I don't want to put all these people's information out but she moved on with a large very established company okay um so that left me as general manager at this point in the upper management tier I had no time I was dedicating a lot of time to building someone else's dream and I don't mean to say like I hated my time there I love that restaurant I love the food there I love the people there but I couldn't lead myself to to use my youthful years building someone else's dream when I have all these aspirations, dreams, and goals to work towards, okay? So I had to be real, I had to make some hard decisions, and I had to pull back. I had to reevaluate, and I had to reprioritize what was important to me. But before Alexis left, no, I'm sorry, after she left, she came back to kind of help me out here and there she will help me with little things she had this great idea for something that would bring the crowd in she knew these two promoters which is Kel and his best friend and she invited them in to go over the venue look at if they wanted to have their party there at the restaurant so that's when I met Kel during our time working together while I was at the restaurant, he showed interest, but we definitely kept it business because of course, I didn't want to mix business and pleasure. Lord knows that never works out right. Um, so eventually once I left, he eventually had time that freed up. I feel so redundant right now. Eventually, eventually take a shot of juice every time I say eventually but eventually his time freed up mine did too and we I'm not gonna lie like it was instantaneous once we did spend time together like the first day we had it was there y'all okay I can't even it wasn't time to build up into it he was amazing from the start and over the course of some months I just fell for him like fairy tale style and I'm I'm okay with saying that. Uh I know it's hot girl summer and it's this and it's that, but it is what it is. I gotta say it like how it is, so that's what it was. So of course I have some videos that I've already filmed with him, so I'm excited to post them for you to get to meet him and grow a connection with him. But of course I'll bring him on to actually tell our story maybe one day when he stops being camera shy. You'll see in the video I'm talking about how camera shy he really can be, but he's really a goofball. He's my heart as well. I have lots of hearts, obviously. Plenty of love to go around. So fast forward to now, he's amazing. We're happy, uh, thank God. I have a great job in the clinical field and I have a work-life balance and that was important to me all along. I needed to have I needed to be able to make money and still do what I love at the same time, not drive myself crazy. So now is the best time probably for me to do what I want and create this content that I have coming to y'all. Now is literally the most perfect time for me to manifest everything and anything that I really wanted to, anything I've dreamt of. If you are still here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just stay a little while longer, I got a little bit more to go. Um, about this channel okay I'm being real when I say this this channel is near and dear to me I wanted this channel for so long I don't want it to be ingenuine 
I want to share every one of my travels with y'all. I want to go on adventures with y'all. I want to share all these new things I find out about life with y'all. I want it to be a safe haven for you or a place that you come when you want to laugh or a place where if you're feeling down, you can come here and get a pick me up. I really want this to be our channel. I want it to be a place where I can share the passion I have for hair, makeup, food, girl. Food, precious food. Traveling, whatever, literally everything. My excessive amount of hair products that we'll talk about later, it's a lot. But anyway, hopefully we can actually build a true friendship and you get to know me as that relatable friend that you can talk to about anything. That's what I really want it to be like. In a nutshell, I just want to bring you along with me on my journey. If you're still here, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't went to follow me on social media, follow me. I'm going to leave them down here for the remainder of the video, okay? And I don't even know what that was, but okay. But I'm going to leave it down here on the screen. And if you liked it, thumbs up. Comment if you have suggestions for videos. If you don't like how my hair was, no, I'm just kidding. Please don't be mean in the comments. I really want this to be a positive place for you and for me. So comment me sweet things like I've always put in my little description bar. And subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see new content. I'm going to keep it rolling out. Like I said, I promise to be consistent. It's now or never. And it's definitely now, like I said. So subscribe and definitely turn the bell on so that you get notified whenever I put this great content out okay thank you so much for watching one last time and I'll see you in the next one okay bye